hi, 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 and welcome to Elena Does Audio Stuff. Hey, so today we will be learning five tips and tricks to create variations in music production. So these come very handy when you want to make a very boring arrangement, very interesting arrangement. Hey, but before we get into it, remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon, especially that bell icon, because then you will defeat all the algorithms and you will definitely see every single time I post anything more cool videos for you let's get into it now <laughs> Number one is audio manipulation. Audio manipulation, what does that mean? It means that we can go and take a clip. So I can example, copy this drum clip and put it in the intro. So this drum clip will sound the same as this drum clip. So if this is a verse and this is chorus, we don't want, of course, verse to have same type of drums of chorus because variation, we create more interest. So firstly, we can chop things. We can make it sound much more interesting by just chopping a little bit. So let's listen to the clip first. Okay, so very housey beat. What I can do now, it's a quite nice grid, but I could go even slightly smaller grid and I could just go around and just chop so I could highlight that area, press delete, uh, maybe go here and also I could maybe drag that area here. So I'm just going to chop and just kind of mix it around a little bit. And that makes us have a slightly different rhythm that we have on the other clip. So let's listen to this one example. Yeah, example, that sounds a lot more interesting. So I'm just going to highlight the area that I chopped then press command J and now we have this new clip. So, so that I can loop it, I need to go here and press loop and ta-da and ta-da. We can also change the pitch if we want to, which is the pitch control here. But remember this needs to be warped, this clip to be able to do that. And it can sound a little bit funny. So if we want to make sure that it sound, doesn't sound funny when you change the pitch, you can go complex pro from the warp modes and change the format and the envelope. Uh, we can also go to the warp modes and on the beats warp mode on the preserve area. We have the transient loop mode. If we go to the first one on the transient loop mode, control the transient amount. Listen how cool this is. So it basically just takes the transients and around everything around it, it basically cancels out. It's a bit like a gate type of thing. So example, this could sound really cool in the verse. So that is cool. We can also half the original tempo. So we can half it, make it faster or we can make it slower. This is something that I use a lot even with drums, definitely. So we can make it longer. So now you can see that it's still the same length of a loop. But it's definitely a lot slower. So that could be, for example, a good variation to create that we start with a little bit uh, slower drums. And straight away, it's a lot more interesting. <music> Tip number two is MIDI manipulation. So we have the similar kind of controls in MIDI as we have in audio, but we have a lot more. Let's just go to the bass sample here. And what we have now in the clip editing view, we have three tabs. Instead, on in audio, we have only two. So we have the clip editing and then we have the envelope controls. But in here, we have notes, envelopes, and then we have note expression. So in the first one, in the note uh, controls, we can control, of course, the same. We can play double tempo or we can cut it, make it, make it shorter. So again, we can do the same as we did the drums. So it's...
So that could be a very cool thing. You can also cut it down and you can create very interesting bass lines out of it. Or we can, of course, make it faster. No, we're just going to keep it normal for this one. Then we have reverse. Uh, it can just create a completely different pattern. And what I usually like using that for in MIDI is example, if we have a C part, it's like a longer different type of variation area in the mid of the song. Um, so if we go there and use the bass there, we could example reverse it. So this is the end of the chorus and we go into C part. I'm just gonna C part. There we go. basically created a completely different type of dun -dun 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 -dun, a melody line and different type of vibe into that. I kind of like that. You know, creating these variations in arrangement process can be very healthy process so that you can find and explore something completely new. And surprise is a very, very good creative method. Surprise yourself and you're like, oh yeah, that's all right, that's all right. Another thing that we can explore that can actually create a lot of interesting melody lines is invert. So invert means that the lowest notes uh, of the MIDI pattern go highest and the highest ones go to the lowest. So let's just invert this clip. You can see that they swapped. So let's just go from here. So some of these notes are now out of scale, which are, is fine. I can just monitor them from here and just move them up and down using the arrow keys. I actually like that bass line a lot now. So it's very different than from here. what we're talking about here variation surprise okay so we also have legato legato we can example you can see that there are uh, like very fast notes right now so if i press this you can see that they all get longer and they basically want to kind of reach the next note and that's how it works <laughs> But we also have the envelope. So we can control the envelopes uh, of example, the instrument over there. So we have isotope iris to that, which is freaking amazing. This one here. So I love making bases with that. Or we can have example, uh, MIDI control here and example pitch band. And we can just control the modulation of that using the modulation envelope just to add a little bit of pitch bend over there so again adds variation adds interest already a lot more which is really cool Another one, we have the nose expression here. And of course, when you open from the lower corner, left lower corner triangle there. So we have pressure, uh, slide pressure, velocity and release velocity. So we can control, of course, them from here. We can even control them very much from the MIDI notes. Or otherwise, we can also remember randomize and velocity range. So we can select one of these, example, the velocity over there. And then we can uh, put a percentage. How much do we want to randomize it? And then we can click randomize and check them out. We can control the velocity completely here like that. Again, amazing amazing way to create a little bit of uh, variation as well as range. So this is the velocity range. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Number three.
three is harmonies. Okay, so funny story. I forgot to actually、um, film this part, so I'm gonna do this with voiceover. So first, you're gonna duplicate any of the tracks you want to add harmonies to. So this is a very good way to add example harmonies, like impact harmonies to the chorus. So this is only the synth of the chorus. So the next thing, I'm just going to remove every second chord of the pattern, and I'm going to move these chords by using the scale function in Ableton Live. I have it activated, and I'm just going to move it up and down using my arrow keys. And if you want to go octave higher, you can just hold down Shift and arrow up or down. And this way, you can find a very nice harmonies for your chords. So using the scale function to do this obviously is a very good technique for anyone who doesn't know music theory, and you can find really interesting harmonies just by moving them up and down on the scale. And this is how it sounds from the verse all the way to the chorus. Number four is audio and MIDI effects that we can use to create very cool things, variations. So, example, we can go and add a beat repeats, very very classic. Then delay and loop, and then from there we have beat repeats. So, example, we can add that to the drums. There's also actually really cool、uh, presets in here. So, example, little puppy brain dance is pretty cool. So, let's try that one. I want to create that kind of variation, but I don't want it on the chorus. I just want it in a verse and maybe the C part. So what I do is I'm just gonna automate the on/off button. So here we go. We go automation mode from the top right corner. Click the on/off button, so it's realized it's selected. Brain dance device on. So I'm gonna use the pencil and I'm gonna pull that down the red line, automation lane line, so that it shows off. And now it's on there, and on the last chorus also, I want it off. Now it's on the verse. We go into the chorus, and we are normal again. Another thing is, of course, vocals. So there are so many different type of effects that you can use to make them a little bit interesting, especially because I'm looping like literally two phrases the whole song. Vocal bender. You might have seen this around.、Uh, but it's so freaking cool. So what I could do here, example, is to turn into these fine tune. We could do a little bit automation there. So let's go automation lane, then format, and then、uh, let's now go from there to a normal mode, so we don't have a pencil. Already cool. Maybe in the verse we want to bring the format up a little bit on the verse. Let's see how that sounds. So it sounds make it sound a little bit like a chipmunk, and then we could go here and add like some LFO. So if we go here and pull that there. Created already a little bit of variation, and remember, I don't want it on anything else. So I'm just gonna turn it off from chorus. So only the verse,、uh, the intro, and the verse has the the vocal bender.、Uh, the link to the vocal bender is down below if you want to check it out. Very cool. Number five, which is cutting. Cutting sometimes is better for variation than 
adding stuff. It's almost like subtractive arrangement, which is one of my favorite thing. Creating arrangement by taking away stuff. So example, in the beginning, I could just have only the one chord. So that we are building it up. We don't have the whole chord progression going all the time. So I just take every second one away. So already this is going to sound a lot more like it kind of builds up a little bit. And I might go here to the bass. I split that area, Command E, away, so that I only have the intro section there, and I might take some uh, some notes away to hear from again. I might take that away. Um, actually, I might take those away. To add some rhythm, groove, and interest to it, and a variation. I don't know how to... <laughs> I might actually, I like that, so I might loop that all the way to the verse. Ooh, maybe I should start this weird beat thing earlier. I might take a couple from here as well. So we just add those kind of impacts in the beginning. Okay, so example, that already made the intro a lot more airy, more spacious and more interesting because we just cut stuff off. <laughs> So now what I would do is add some lifts, some drops, some uh, transitions and I have plenty of that kind of videos showing all the stuff down below. So I have a whole playlist of similar videos like this that are 5 tips or 10 tips for music production that creates interest and make you to make your stuff step better. Okay, thank you so much for watching. L literally remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you haven't yet because you want to be here. Also, thank you so much for all my Patreons. Here are my Patreon family. We have live streams, we have listening parties, challenges, we have Discord, we have masterclasses in there. So go and check out and be part of this family because that's a lot of fun. So thank you so much for watching. Please come again. Love ya and see you soon.